my name is Leo. I'm Wan Ting. And welcome to King's News. As you might have heard, a number of female students have allegedly been harassed at the Moon Library from an unidentified guy. The news spread after an anonymous post of Case College London on Facebook asking if anyone else had encountered a creepy guy who claims he's from LSE at the Moon Library. Although he's not part of the King's IT team, he apparently sits at the library's IT desk late at night and tries to talk to girls and get them phone number. Numerous girls commented on the post saying they had experienced the same thing. Hopefully, King's administration will take action and increase the security at the library. Read the links in our bell to find out more. The Wellbeing Week has taken place at King's during the past week, from the 4th to the 10th of November. The purpose of the week was that of giving students the opportunity to experience well-being through different activities and events, while raising awareness of the importance of well-being. Among the numerous events, there has been a doggy distress event, where students enjoyed some distressing time with dogs while contributing to raising funds for the Staffordshire Bull Terrier Rescue. Other events included a make do play well-being session. Furthermore, from the 11th to 17th of November, King's One World Festival took place, a festival aimed at celebrating the cultures, faith, and diversity of KCLSU community and King's. The numerous events included Yubasang One World Photo Exhibit and the One World Language Cafe. Following up on the Extinction Rebellion protest, the police ban imposed by the Metropolitan Police on the protest has been ruled unlawful by the High Court judges. Although the police force argued in court that the protest ban was their only solution to prevent widespread disruption, judges confirmed that they did not have the power to ban the protests. You can read more about this through the link in our bio. Good news for Strand students! Four night pods have been installed at the Strand campus following the success of the ones at the Waterloo campus. Take a well-deserved and comfortable 20-minute break to nap, listen to music, or just relax in the privacy of the pods. Two pods are on the 8th floor of Bush House, and two other ones can be found in King's building on the 2nd floor of the canteen. On the 13th of November, former US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met with former Prime Minister of Australia, Julia Gillard, for a discussion centered around the important matter of gender equality today. The event was hosted by the Global Institute for Women's Leadership and the Policy Institute at King's and launched their new World Questions event series. The discussion has been live streamed on the King's YouTube channel and you can find the link to the video in our bio. Furthermore, the 14th London Korea Film Festival has taken place from the 1st to the 14th of November and will go on its annual tour from the 18th to the 24th of November. This year's festival celebrated 100 years of Korean cinema combined with UK and international premieres and events across different strands such as women's voices, documentary and animation. Visit the link in our bell for more information. Moreover, the Chinese Visual Festival has screened the film a Woman is a Woman in Bush House at King's on the 7th of November. This film is considered one of the most groundbreaking Hong Kong films on trans identities and civil rights. It focuses on the attempt of two trans women to attain understanding and acceptance in a hostile social environment. Some people who are at the screening have said that it is a film that gets people thinking indeed and hope that there will be more films with this theme. Next week on the 21st of November, UCL is hosting a well-being event open to King student called Experience Happiness, Life Lessons from a Monk. Follow the link in our bell to book your place. Thank you so much for watching King's News. Subscribe to the King's TV YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss our next episode. Thank you. See you.